being cheap to produce, basically. Mikey, that was Steve. <laughs> well, check, check, check. Well, um, well, like I said before, it's just uh, the the genre of reality TV is taken off sheerly because people eat up seeing themselves on TV. You know, they know on the back of their minds that that's one of us up there. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm not gonna say they live vicariously through the people on TV, but they, they just identify more knowing that it's not acting. You know, it's, it wasn't a team that got together and creatively put together a script and a storyline, and, and, and often it's the entertainment value is just as good. Inside, I feel like both can coexist in TV, and it's just the nature of, of entertainment. I mean, entertainment's always changing, and so is the world. And you know, now we're in an age of voyeurism, and people just want to see reality as well as um, something th that a bunch of people really worked hard on. You know, putting together creatively. So, uh, in the end, I, f I find both can exist. Yeah. Uh, Terry G and Vincent. Um, I think our reality TV show is a lot different because uh, you could pay an actor millions of dollars and they couldn't do what we do because we train our entire lives for it. So I don't think we're taking any position for writers or actors. So Mertz, I don't believe we fall into that category. That's it. Are you good? Yes. <laughs> oui, bonjour. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Um, I think everybody you know, wants a little shot of fame and glory and it's like, why do the actors have to do it all? I mean. There's opportunities for everybody to have a little shot for themselves. So I think, you know, all of us obviously had a desire to live a little bit of the uh, lifestyle of the rich and famous in a sense. And uh, I think we're all lucky enough to make it on the show, which was cool enough for us. And that's all we could ask for. So, and I think there's room for everybody to play in the, uh, in the television world. I agree with what he said. And I also wanted to add that um, I've been on both ends of it. I've been an actor, so I've been in a few movies, I've done commercials. And I've also been on the reality end, so I've done a bit of both. And to be honest, it was harder for me to be in the reality. Because when you're an actor or, not, or an actress, you can hide behind another character. Like, this, it's not actually you. It's a different, you're a different person. And it's hard sometimes just to be yourself and hope people will love you, hope people will feel for you when you're on a reality TV series. So I think that's just the difference. Last time I checked, there was like a thousand channels, so I think there's room for all of us. <laughs> so there's still plenty of sitcoms, there's still plenty of movies, there's still plenty of dramas, and there's still room for eight million reality TV shows. So that's it. Jesse? Yeah, I just think it's funny when reality TV starts trying to go back and go to the, the hand they just slapped by trying to become actors thereafter. It's like, um, you just put them out of jobs. You know, there's a reason reality came, you know, just take the big brother that had to go over the winter. There's a reason because of the strike, you know, in New York, because of the writer's strike. It's like, we're putting people out of jobs. I really don't think you're gonna be able to go on Big Brother or any reality TV show for that matter. And then be like, oh, hey, can I now become an actor and move to LA? Because that's the cool thing to do that just because I was on TV, so as far as I'm concerned, I think uh, people kind of misconstrued the two. If your reality, you know, utilize it and make it. Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Comic-Con, Comic-Con, Comic-Con. <laughs>